Hi, this is Brandon Smilly from ThirstGym.com. Today we're talking about an exercise called the Bear Hold Shoulder Taps. This is a great abdominal and trunk exercise you can put in your training programs, and it requires very minimal equipment. So we're going to use the Bear Hold position and then the shoulder tap option, uh, which is a combination of a couple different exercises. So we're going to start on the floor to begin with, and we're going to have our knees underneath our hips and our hands underneath our shoulders, and we're going to create the bear position. So when we're in this position, we want to try to push our shoulders away from us. We want to try to make a good, big, long reach, and then we want to try to bring our pelvis underneath our ribs. So we want to make sure we can tuck our pelvis here, and then we're going to try to push our spine towards the ceiling. Once we get that bear position, then we're going to have our knees leave the floor. So we're going to push away. Knees are going to leave the floor, but we want our knees to try to stay long. So when we have our knees leave the floor, we don't want to have them up like this. We want to try to shoot our knees down while they're off the floor and while we reach. And then in this position, then we're going to shift our body weight over towards one side, and then we're going to tap the opposite shoulder. So here, reach good and long. Should feel some space in between my shoulder blades. Knees come off the ground, reach, and then come back to the other side. It's a very subtle shift, very subtle tap, back and forth. Keep your knees long. So from a programming standpoint, these can be programmed uh, for time or for reps, depending upon you know what you want to try to accomplish. If you're using it like a conditioning setting or a class, you might perform this for time. If you're performing this with personal training or athletes, I think reps go really well. Um, know your population, know what their limitations and their strengths are. So if somebody likes to try to go really fast, which is exercise you don't want to do, you might program them time to try to get them to slow down because they're going to be there regardless, and vice versa. Um, if you want somebody to really be slow and focused and controlled, you can program reps and really try to give them a good burn. So three to four sets of probably anywhere from five to eight taps per side ends up being a pretty good place to start. And then obviously you can kind of up the reps, maybe even up to 10 per side if you get somebody that's really athletic. So if you've got any questions, feel free in the comment section. Thanks. Have a great day.